All right, so this is the third part of this, this series. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add the middleware so that we have, we'll take this bicycle shop schema that is part of our GraphQL schema. We're actually gonna wire this up to part of our API. And to do that, we're gonna add another layer of middleware. So I'm just gonna hop into this middleware folder, add a new class, and we're gonna call this our GraphQL middleware. All right, so what we're gonna do first, and we're, going to add this class. And so this class is just going to have a be a generic type that takes in a T schema and we're going to specify this has to be a type of GraphQL I schema. And then what we're going to do is because this is a class that will be used with a generic type, I'm going to add an extension method that will allow us to just call on our application builder um, use GraphQL middleware that takes in T schema. And what that'll do for us is if we go into startup, now we can go over here and we can just say that our application is going to use GraphQL middleware and we're going to specify that we want to use our bicycle GraphQL schema. And so that extension method kind of helps us get an easier way of actually using this middleware. So to use this middleware, middleware needs to have an invoke method that takes an HTTP context. So go ahead and create that as well. This scaffolds out our middleware class. And so what we need to do is need to define what do we need when we build this. So we're going to take in a few things. Uh, we take in the request delegate because that's just part of middleware so that we have a way to get to the next. We're taking an instance of our I schema and or our T schema, which is a type of I schema. And then we have this document executor and writer. Now these two pieces come from GraphQL. The document executor, this is used so that whenever a GraphQL query comes in, GraphQL will take that, it'll parse it, and it will execute it or evaluate that against the schema that we define over here with all these C-sharp object types. And then once it's evaluated that and parsed it, then it will take that result and we'll use document writer to actually push this out back to the response body. And so now that we've added these, I'll just go ahead and create our places to store these values. And then we'll come down here inside and we'll actually make those assignments as necessary.